In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. These words are taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. Many who read these words and hold them dear believe that the writer of this Gospel is making us aware that Jesus, God's, God's Word incarnate, God's word has been enfleshed that we might have a glimpse into what God is doing and that we might follow a living, breathing, walking, and talking example of what God would have God people to do. I believe that's true. I'm sparked to further truth by the scholarship of Dwight Allen Callahan, a scholar of New Testament, when he offered this commentary. The word translated as word here in the Gospel of John, logos, doesn't mean word as a discrete unit of speech, like the word origin or skyline or kumquat. Logos has the sense of ordered discourse. Logos is the word that gives us the word logic, the word for ordered principles of reason, reason. So now with that, what do we do with this word? What do we do with the word? What do we do with Jesus? Not only is Jesus the word, but Jesus is the logic of God. Not only is Jesus the word, but in him we find the ways in which God reasons and makes meaning in the world. Not only is Jesus the Word made flesh, but Jesus is the embodiment of the grand project, the mission to which God is calling us. Now, to be clear, God has no mission for the world, no new mission for you and me. God's mission is well articulated in the book of Micah, chapter 6 and verse 8. God has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. I invite you to be on and about what God is doing. This project that God is doing in the world. Now the work of anti-racism is one of the projects which embodies God's mission in the world. Where we affirm the truth that all people are made in the image and likeness of God, and by that fact and by that fact alone, they deserve to be treated with equity in matters of culture, public policy, and law. This work of anti-racism, this journey we're on to create sustainable culture shift toward anti-racism in the Rocky Mountain Conference of the United Church of Christ is the work to which God is calling us in this time and in this space. Will you join us?